making her way to the ring from Staten Island, New York, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella is the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Well, it's great where you can wear blinders. Why would I want blinders on when Mella's around? So what would you know anything about how to win a title like Mella? So I see you're kissing up to Carmella as well. Why wouldn't I? I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. Making her way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. A superstar that wouldn't look out of place on the roof of the Sistine Chapel. A real work of art, God's greatest creation. I wouldn't be able to tell. My monitor's all blurry. Can we get tech support out here or something? As Corey calls her the golden goddess. Corey, you've gone radio silent. I'm just enjoying the moment, Cole. I suggest you do the same. If Mandy Rose told me that up was down and down was up, I'd at least do some research on it. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, Ruby Riot, Sarah Logan, the Riot Squad made a shocking debut back in 2017, attacking many of the women in the SmackDown Live locker room, and they've gone on to great success in WWE. Well, Liv Morgan and her partners in crime love to turn any situation on its head. Well, you're looking at the future right here. And her opponents. First, from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. When you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey, Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Michael, Corey, you guys ready to feel the glow? Anyone? And her opponent. All right, just me. First, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Byron, just because Naomi dances, that is not an open invitation for you to do the same. Why? Because Naomi's actually good at it. I can do the electric slide. Who wants to beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. One of the most athletic superstars in the history of WWE. A former pro basketball cheerleader, professional dancer. Naomi can do it all from bell to bell. And one of the most fun and exciting entrances in all of WWE. Never shies away from competition, always seizing the opportunity to get better. 
That's what feeling the glow is all about. Foxy time! And her opponents. First, from Pony Vidra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox. Hey, Alicia! Alicia! Well, you should have heard what Byron no, was saying quiet, about you earlier quiet, today. Michael! I'm getting out of here. Good. Thank God. Now the show can get crazy like a fox. Yeah, she's... She's not quite like all your other superstars in WWE. She has some issues. Unpredictable, sure. I'm into that sort of thing. Big match here as we kick off this three-on-three -three contest. Beautiful technique. And setting him up. You gotta believe this one's over. Beginning to look bad for her here. And the confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. She's really had a tough time getting out of the gates here tonight. She needs to make a change, and she needs to make it now. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Nailed it! Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. This might be it! Oh my, harsh impact! Boom, what impact! Drop kick with precision! This can't be legal! Totally ruthless, but effective. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count 
or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Naomi was a dancer for the NBA's Orlando Magic and hip-hop star Flo Rida. So when she came to WWE in 2012 as part of the Funkadactyls, the world witnessed very quickly how Naomi could get down. Just breaking down the opponent. Clothesline! Off with their head. Oh, oh my God! God. Right back into their own corner. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Shortly after Naomi's debut, the WWE Universe was shocked to learn she was not just a dance. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Air pull that slam. Big slam. Drop, drop kick. kick. It's the mark. Oh, knee drop. Drop kick. Oh, oh great height. Oh, and she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Close line! Beautiful technique. Alicia Fox got out of there in time. You gotta believe this one's over. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Uh-oh, full Nelson. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Alicia Fox got out of there in time. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh, ho, ho. perfect form. Shining oh. wizard. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Drop from above. Ooh! What a stomp! Good grief! Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Kick! Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, where three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. In 2016, the New Day... Liv Morgan sizing it up. Would she get... Nailed it. But can she follow up? Oof. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day. Uh, you still feel the glow when the lights are out? She's got it now. 
All that's left now is for Naomi to finish. Drop kick hits the mark. Oh, clothesline. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. She's looking good now. We'll two on one face breaker. I bet you will she win it here. What a six-man tag match. Now let's get another look at those six superstars going head-to-head -to -head and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Impressive showing there and route to the win. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around.